What's up everybody, episode number 21, and today we are taking a look at how to properly thread the Cobra Class 4 sewing machine from the thread stand all the way to the needle, and then how to properly thread and load a bobbin. So, let's just take a look. First things first, make sure there is no thread being hindered or blocked from coming off the thread cone. You begin by inserting the thread through the thread stand from the back to the front. Insert the thread through the thread guide and you want the tension discs to click as you pull the thread in between them. Then bring the thread around and back through the thread guide. Down the machine there is a second thread guide. Pass through this guide and then you want to go two revolutions counterclockwise around the tension discs and then back up through the thread guide. Next is to go through the check spring and then up to the take up lever. You want to thread from the back to the front of the take up lever and then proceed back down. As you go down there is a spring loaded face plate thread guide. Pull it forward and slide the thread downward through it but make sure it is to the left of the screw. After that, there is a curly thread guide to pass through, and on the needle bar, there is a hole. Thread the hole and go down towards the needle. Thread the needle from left to right and put the thread through the center foot. All right, let's thread and wind up a bobbin. So put your bobbin thread cone on the thread stand and make sure the thread comes off freely. Thread the stand from back to front. On the top of the machine is the bobbin tensioner. Insert through the first thread guide and then around the tension discs. Pull the thread in between the discs until you hear the click. Then continue around and back out through the second thread guide. Pull the thread down the machine head and insert the thread through the guide armhole and then you pull it back up the machine towards an empty bobbin. Thread the bobbin from inside to outside through the thread hole and now you want to place the bobbin on the winder with the thread facing you. On the winder there is a pin that gets inserted into the back side of the empty bobbin. Before you begin winding up the bobbin, don't forget to remove the thread from the needle and also place your presser feet in the up position to avoid continuous metal on metal contact. Flip down the keeper and you want to hold on to that extra thread end. To start winding, just engage the foot pedal and the bobbin will start to wind up. Also you can trim the thread end after you have wound the bobbin up for a bit. Once that keeper flips up and detaches from the bobbin, you can remove the bobbin from the winder. Just a reminder, if your bobbin is winding uneven, that's because there is no proper thread distribution. Just make sure that the arm guide is pointing towards the center of the bobbin. To load a wound up bobbin, remove the protective plate, press the shuttle release lever, insert your bobbin with the thread going counterclockwise, and the thread will go through the shuttle slot. Pull the thread down into the tension spring device, To pull the bobbin thread up, rotate the handwheel and the hook and the thread will rotate and bring the bobbin thread up. Alright, so just replace the cover plate and you are ready to sew. Alright, that's it for today you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps this channel grow and produce more content. And I'll see you on next week's episode.